So today's workout is um, it's your one workout that's in between your two break days. So Saturday, Sunday I did full body workout number one, break Monday because that's the, the day I chose. You don't have to pick that day. I just chose that day because that's when the kids have soccer. Today's Tuesday. So now I'm going to do a full workout on a specific region of my body. So last week we did a full dumbbell workout or full dumbbell workout for your arms, which is pretty intense, but we're going to switch that workout every week. So that's the last time we're going to do it until three more weeks from now. So this chest workout is one chest workout that we're doing this week and that's it. And then we're going back to the full body workout. Now this chest workout is not complete. This is just what you can do at home if you can do them. But benches are pretty cheap. I mean, I got this one for like $60 on Amazon called Flybird. I don't know how much it costs now, but Obviously, I need to get a better one, one that's more stable and everything, but this is what you can do with what you have. If you don't have dumbbells, like I said, grab a water bottle, grab something to use that's evenly weight for both arms, because this one you do need two sets of dumbbells. Now, if you don't have the dumbbells at all, you don't have to use dumbbells at all. What you can do if you don't have anything that's two sets of the same weight to do, take out the dumbbell workouts and just put them with the appropriate push up workouts and just double your push ups. Or do as many as you can. I'm trying to build muscle. Um, it's hard because I don't have the right equipment. I wish I had cables. You know, I wish I had that kind of stuff. I wish I had more dumbbells so I could do flies or something. But, so I'm gonna start off with three sets of six to eight reps for dumbbell chest press. And then I'm doing three sets of that. And then right afterwards, I'm gonna go into three sets of eight to 10. I put it two a little higher, so I'm gonna push myself. Eight to 10 dumbbell push-ups, so dumbbell height push-ups, so I'm gonna put the dumbbells on the ground and do push-ups while holding the dumbbells to keep my body lifted so I get more chest to the my chest to the level that I need to be without touching the ground. And it also helps with um, your form. So that's my workout, my first workout, and then I'm gonna do two minute rest. So get to it. I don't even know if I have that. But... There we go. I'm going to start off heavy, by the way. So you might think, oh, well, if you're only doing two minute rest at the end, how are you going to do all these sets? There's going to be a little rest period, but you're not going to count it. So these are 40 pound dumbbells. That was one set. I'm just going to take a breather, catch my breath, and then go again. So obviously I probably don't have the right weight, I could probably do 50s or 60s or even more. I don't know because I only have 40 pounders, so I, it's been a while since I lifted weight, so catch that breath, go again. my breath a little bit. 
it gets hot. Eight to ten reps. One sec. Come on. Six sets of ten. Two minute break. <sighs> really feeling in the chest, so. Uh. The next one is three sets of six to eight incline chest press. Three sets to eight to ten dumbbell incline press, which is, I guess you would call it decline press. I don't know. <laughs> So we gotta do that all over again, just incline. You don't wanna go too far on incline. I think that's about the right level. I don't know how much that is because this doesn't really tell me. Now I know I won't be able to do 40s doing an incline press at the moment. So I'm gonna shoot down to my 30s. looking at the time. Whew. But this is going to kill your chest at the end. I mean, we did six sets of that. Now we got to do six sets of six sets of this. And then we got to do six sets of declines. And then we got to do floor presses and just regular push-ups and no dumbbells until you're exhausted. And then at the end, we're upping the push-ups this week. I didn't up it yesterday, but I'm gonna up it today. Instead of two, or three sets of 20, we're doing three sets of 25. All right, let's get it. <sighs> oh, take a breather. When I say take a breather, I mean, 10 to 15 seconds. That's not really a rest period. Just whew, catch your breath. You can't keep breathing the same way forever. You gotta catch your breath, re oxygenize, and get back to it. Oh, totally feeling it. Make sure to pull those arms in so you get that chest squeeze. Now there are a lot of better workouts than this. This is just the one that I can show you that you can do at home without the cables, without lower dumbbells like butterflies and stuff like that, or chest press, or any kind of equipment. These are dumbbells and body weight. And they still give you a good enough workout, especially for your chest. <sighs> push-ups your feet on your bench or your couch or a chair to get your body reclined this way because it's backwards so whereas you want to be on a bench you want to be upwards when you do push-ups to do incline you want to be downwards <sighs> oh you know what my bad I need these <laughs> Get 
into the right position. And go. I'm so ready. That's one set. I wasn't lifting my legs as high, so try to get your feet underneath you. It's tough because I'm on hardwood floor. Maybe on carpet or mats would be even better, but this is all I got. Make sure to get those elbows in. One more set. Oh. I'm really feeling it right now. Hefty. Feel like a bean bag. push-ups like that it's hard to breathe because your whole upper body is trying to contract and you try to breathe through your stomach you'll lose your breath a little bit so that last set I only did eight reps that's okay I'm trying to stay in between eight and ten I don't like going less than ten but I put the put that there as a marker if I can't do the last set do two less do as many as you can, but the reason I'm showing you this to do the weights like this and the reps like this is to push yourself. You gotta get your heart rate going. 40, 45 seconds. This next one is a decline chest press. I'm gonna use the 30s as well because I'm part of my chest and muscles aren't really ready for 40s. I could probably do them, but I'll be too exhausted to push myself through the rest of the sets, and I know that. So you know your limitations. As you're doing these workouts and incorporating new workouts, you're going to find new limitations and how much you can do. Don't do them to where you feel easy. Like, oh, you know, all right, next set. You want to be out of breath, you want to be sore, you want to feel that pump. Like, this feels like a water balloon attached to your chest. That's what you want to feel. You want to feel the jiggle. It's a little weird, but it makes sense to me. All right. Let's go. Six to eight reps. myself up without using my abs as much. It helps a lot. Because if you don't have anybody to help you and you're using a bench and you don't have that, then you got 30 dumbbells on the ground. That's hard with floor to probably break. If you have mats, it's a different equation. If you have concrete, it'll leave a mark, but it depends on what weight you have too. If you have hex, the hex um, rubber glip grip ones, it'd be easier, but I'm doing this solo, so I don't have anybody to help to grab them for me. Let's go. <laughs> Whew, catch that breath, by the way. I could probably do 35s definitely for decline presses. So this last one, I'm not gonna do eight reps, I'm gonna do 10, maybe 12 because that's it that I'm doing with the dumbbells for the decline. So that last set, if you feel like you can do more, pump a little more.
these ones are tough. The reason these ones are tough is because you're not going to have your body weight to help you. So, this might not work for you on your bench. It might, who knows. We would do 8 to 10. We're going to do 12 to 14 of these because you're not using as much body weight. But you want to really pull in that chest forward and feel it as you go down. So this is pretty high level. Now it isn't workout, but high level is I'm not going to feel as much. So push your chest in there. Rift up. <laughs> So I know I said 12 to the 14, take that back. I just did 10. I don't know if it's because I'm pushing my chest really in there and bending my back a little bit to get that in there. But holy crap, I don't think I can do 12. We'll see near the end, but. All right, here you go, let's go again. It's kind of like dips because of how angled you are, so. First time was a little hard because I just got done with the decline press. But oh, all right, one more. Oh, last one for these sets in there. You see me looking at my watch just because that's what I'm controlling the camera with. The camera's like 10 feet away from me. I need to get a professional grid camera. Right now I just have my iPhone, which works, it does the job. So when you say you don't have the right equipment to film yourself or do something, you have a cell phone. If you have a flip phone, better for you. <laughs> Social media is a scam. I literally only have Instagram. I got blocked from Twitter, Facebook kinda. So, I got Instagram. And no, it wasn't for no, whatever the heck's going on in the US, like LGBT, anti this, anti that, racism. It wasn't for any of that. Actually, I'll explain pretty easily. But, somebody said, oh, something hurts them. It, was, it happened to be a politician. They said, oh, this hurts people, so we need to ban it. I said, you fall down a lot of stairs. Don't you think you should ban those? <laughs> That's all I said, and they banned me from Twitter. I appealed it, they won't let me back. <laughs> I was just making a joke, and I still got banned. But whatever, you know, it is what it is. So I got Instagram, I, I only post for family things, so you won't see anything of this on there. I know you should use social media to its fullest to get as much followership, followers and everything. I don't really care, I'm just doing this to influence people so they can see that anybody can do these workouts and they need it, they need to get up and do them. Alright. I'm going back to the 40s. And we're gonna do until exhaustion. So you might drop these. That's why I'm doing a floor press. Also, floor press, you can run heavier weights. There is no rest. If you hang them above you, that's good. Don't do it for more than 10 to 15 seconds. Push until you can't do another one. Keep pushing. Ugh.
Whoa. Feel that chest shake. All right. Let's go. Max chest exercise. Just catch your breath. No more than 10, 15 seconds. Ain't no rest. And do as many push-ups as you can. Do not give up. Oh, my arms are shaking. beat my push-ups. No, I think I did eight or nine. I did 11 and almost 11 and a half of these. See, that's how you want to feel after you do that workout. If you do that whole workout just like I did, and you could do 30 of these or 25 of these, you messed up, sir. It's okay if you do, I'm not saying it's not. But, let me try again. Ooh. It's okay if you do do more at the end because you might not have the equipment to do more in the beginning. And I'm sorry, that sucks. But you gotta save up. Things are expensive in this world. And these are gradually growing more expensive. I need to get up because I gotta get ready for setups. We switched from 20 every set or three sets to 25 three sets. Because it's getting too easy. It wasn't really, but you gotta push yourself. By the way, this cardboard's here because uh Recycle balloons went out yesterday. So it's gotta be all cut up and put into the recycle bin. Ah, sheesh. There we go. I was gonna say, two minutes gone, go ahead. Okay. It's been a week. We've grown stronger. We know that because we just did that chest press. 25. Hardest thing in the world. Steps. total sit-ups all week. Now we're doing 75, 25 each. We're getting up there to the 100. When you get to 100, you're gonna feel way better about yourself, trust me. Let's go. <laughs> Stick with the three set of 25. <sighs> when you say you did a total of 225s and say 50, you start to get actually more tired psychologically and you exhaust yourself faster because you make the last 25 harder because you think you're going to 75 and you're not, you're doing 25. Don't psych yourself out, mind over matter. Oh, 
All right. One second. So that's your full workout. It took me about 37 minutes. Now you might be thinking that's a long time. Nope, that is shorter than the full body workouts. And I believe a little bit shorter than the full arm workout. But I'm using double the, I'm not using double the weight. I'm using two sets of weight. So one dumbbell each arm. Whereas in the, the full arm workout, I was only using one dumbbell and I was having to alternate arms so that took up more time. If you have the right equipment, you can cut down your time significantly. So you would think 37 minutes, that's a long time. It's not because two minutes of that between each of these six sets is, is two minutes you're doing nothing. So that's two, four, six, eight. Eight minutes of that. You take off your rest period, that's 29 minutes. And then you have a minute and 30 seconds for sit-ups. You take away that, you're, you're at 27.30. 27 minutes and 30 seconds for actual working out at the 37. That means you literally did nine and a half seconds of nothing, or nine minutes and 30 seconds of nothing. So don't count that as your workout because you're not doing anything. And that's the way you want to look at it. So this workout was 27 minutes and 30 seconds probably do it a little faster, you could probably do it a little slower. The point is you're putting in the time and that's what matters because you want discipline. And I've said this before, don't use the M word. Don't use motivation. There's nothing on this world that will motivate you more than being disciplined to a routine. When you're disciplined, you don't give up. I've been through one week of this, I wanted to give up. But after I seen the results, yes, my diet played in hand with that. But after one week's results, I lost, I think, 1.4 pounds. I wasn't trying to lose weight, by the way. I was trying to get more defined muscles. And I did. My stomach looks a very thin compared to what it did. And my arms feel good. I feel, I feel pumped, like good every day. I don't feel like I'm tired. <laughs> Granted, it's summer, it gets hot, you get to those 90s to 100 degrees, you, you want to take a nap, and that's okay, you can take a 15 power nap, but keep up the workout, and don't give up. And like I said, if you can't do any of the dumbbell workouts that I just did, supplement them into your push-ups, because look at it this way, I'm 161 pounds, at least I was on Saturday, 161 pounds. If you do the body weight math on a push-up, I'm pushing at least 80 to 90 pounds of my body on my arms and my chest. Those 40s are 80 pounds dumbbell press. Those 30s are 60 pounds dumbbell press. So doing a push-up actually would probably work a little bit better because you're using your body weight, which is heavier than these. Granted, like I said, I could probably use heavier weights like 35s and 45s or even 50s for that side. But I don't have them. So that last floor press to push up to like exhaustion, you want to make sure that's less than 10. If you do any higher than 10, you get too much reps in. Reps higher than equivalent of 12 to 14, anything higher than that is lean muscle and um, well, it's not just lean muscle, it's leaner than lean muscle, and it's mostly for cardio exercises. You're pumping blood, getting your heart rate up a little quicker. What I'm doing is I'm trying to get a balance of 
right on lean muscle, but a little bit onto bulking a little bit. Now, if you wanted to really bulk up some muscles, you could change these chest press, these incline chest press from six to eight to four to six and add 20, four, 20 more pounds. You could do that. I don't advise that because at the beginning you're trying to lose weight, near the middle you're trying to build that weight, that muscle into your body, and at the end, that's when you start to bulk. And we're not going for body, body mass as much. We're really going for, um, well my goal is going for walking around with my shirt off and not feeling like a fat dad. I got two kids. I've had the dad body too long. So keep up the good work and keep pushing. Bye.